Hey YouTube, this is a free extract from my larger Illustrator course called Illustrator Essentials. You can check it out on bringyourownlaptop.com. Um, if you wanna follow along with this video, there's exercise files, okay? Those are free to download. You can go and download those and there'll be a link in the description, okay, so you can play along. Uh, one last thing is there's a cheat sheet as well. So there is a PDF you can download from bringyourownlaptop.com. Uh, look for resources, okay? It's a free PDF, you can download it, print it up, stick it next to your computer, while you're doing these videos. All right, enjoy the video. Bye now. Hi there, in this video, we're gonna draw this shape here. We're gonna use the Shape Builder tool. I know I've used it for a couple of tutorials already, but it's a really versatile tool and I use it so much that yes, it gets three videos. The cool thing about this kind of impossible triangle is that it's super possible with the Shape Builder tool. And although this video is about five minutes long, it really only takes less than a minute to make this particular shape, um, given our super powerful Shape Builder tool. Let's go and learn how to do that now in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so to make our little shape, we are going to go to File, get a new, and like always, Letter, Landscape, and hit Create. Okay, so what we want to do is we're gonna start with some lines. We're gonna start with three of them. So I'm gonna grab the Line Segment tool. I'm gonna to draw out a line. And the cool thing about the line segment tool, watch this, I can draw any sort of line, right? But if I hold down shift, watch this, shift locks it into kind of like 45, 90 degrees, nice angles. So I want it to be straight. So I'm holding shift and just drag out a line about that big. I'm gonna have no fill. I'm gonna have a stroke, okay, of black and it's gonna be one point. So black arrow, I'm gonna move it to an appropriate place and I'm gonna make copies. So with it selected, go to edit, copy, edit, paste. I'm using control C, control V. Paste another one. And what I wanna do is show you a couple of things. One is I'm gonna select all of these guys. Actually, I'm gonna get it to a rough kind of place, right, like that. But they're not distributed nicely. I'm gonna select them all. And first thing I wanna do is make sure the spacing between them is even. So I'm gonna to go to, you can see by default under the properties panel, I've got a line. But you can see it only does the basics. I can align center, which is what I want. You can see they don't quite line up, so align center is great, but the distribute's not there. See this little dotted line here? This shows you that there's more options for the align panel. They just show you the kind of basics, the main stuff you need. I'm gonna click on this one, you can see there's a lot more options. In this case, I want distribute vertical centers. Okay, and you can see it just all lines up nicely there. All right. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna make another copy of these three. So I've got them all selected with my black arrow, edit copy, edit paste, and I wanna rotate them round. Now, I want it to be a triangle, so um, I need it to be like, I can never work out the math, so nice thing you can do in Illustrator is, see over here, with these guys selected, I've got, in my properties panel, I've got this um, you know, way of changing the rotation. And I know that I need to take 360 degrees and divide it by three. So you can do math in these things. I do them quite often, because my math is terrible. Okay, so divide by three and return, and it's 120, turns out. Okay, you probably know that already, I don't. Uh, I've got this one, I'm gonna copy and paste it. And what I'd like to do for this one is, I know that it's 120 times two. Okay, so that should get me my other angle. So while well, I'm hoping, return, there it is there, 240. I should be able to do math like that. But <laughs> I can't. So, um, I've got my kind of basic building blocks for this one. And this is where it gets super easy, I guess. A bit, bit mind-bending because we're doing like an impossible triangle, but super nice and quick. So I'm gonna grab the line segment tool and just draw off, if you're unsure which ones, you've got kind of four diamonds here, draw off the top of these two, okay? And draw these. And you can see it kind of goes from intersect to intersect. It's pretty clever at kind of joining these things up. If yours doesn't, make sure View Smart Guides has got a tick next to it. If it doesn't, turn it on. Okay, so that's, nearly done right i'm going to grab my black arrow select on it all and over to my favorite tool that's why it gets three videos it's very useful uh, versatile i'm going to grab the shape builder tool and now it's trying to work out what i might do to tidy it up is get rid of these excess lines so hold down the option key on a mac or the alt key on a pc to delete them and just drag through these guys just dragging through don't need that bit either it's a really cool slicey tool if you ever use a scissors tool it's a pain in the bum this one here, super nice and quick. Now we need to join some bits up, and I had to practice this loads, just so you know. If you're finding it tough, don't worry, everyone does. Well, at least I did. So I'm gonna click, hold, and drag there, to the outside, to the inside. Okay, outside, to the inside. That's what I have to keep telling myself. Outside, to the inside. And that kinda does it, right? Then I join these guys up, 
these guys up. I'll show you just a kind of, it's really complex shape, okay? But with the Shape Builder tool, it's pretty quick and easy. I love it. So what I'd like you to do now is, all these are separate shapes. I'd like you to go through, color them, okay? Give it a background color as well with a nice big rectangle. And I'd like to see what you've designed and built and the colors that you've used. I'd love to see it as a project. All right, that is going to be it for the last of the Shape Builder tools. Now we need to get on to the Pen tool and the Curvature tool. All right, I'll see you in the video.